Welcome to Brooklyn's Finest Entrepreneurs, a podcast for future business owners and entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Earl A. Conway, where we discuss the details, trials, tribulations, mindset, and the journey it takes. Hey, so you being your own boy. For your dead friends. Hey, look, I got dead presidents. Hey, blue honey, blue honey, blue honey, JJ, blue honey, blue honey, blue honey, JJ, blue honey, blue honey, blue honey, JJ, blue honey, blue honey. Yeah, welcome to another episode. Welcome to another episode, man. We here in the building, man. I want to shout out my son, man. That um that intro music that you guys hear, man. Um he did that, man, and I just kind of fell in love with it, man. It just says it just says Brooklyn on it. You know, I ride through Brooklyn, you know, just with that song on repeat numerous times, you know. Crazy. Yeah, man. So shout out to my son, man. Young Easy, man proud of you son proud of you son so this episode uh wow um i want to just talk to you guys about um expansion right and increase what that means um how does that relate to your life how does that relate to my life how does that relate to life in general right so the definition for um expansion is a thing formed by the enlargement broadening or development of something. So when we think about the definition of it, right, and we're able to relate it to either your life or my life or any anyone's life, right? Um, expansion and increase is um, something that it's always happening. It has to happen, right? Um, I remember my grandmother, um, she would always pray and, you know, for me especially, Right. And she would always pray for increase in my life. You know, that's where I was originally introduced to the word increase. And I've been able to uh, always take this word with me because she's embedded this word of increase. You know, she's prayed over my life, you know, uh, with this word expansion, mostly increase. You know, it was always increase, 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 increase. Um, so, um, I want to talk to you guys about what expansion is, uh, what increases, um, how does it affect you? How does it affect me? How does it affect everyone else? And, um, you know, life is always expanding and, um, always seeking this, uh, this, 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 this space of increase. I don't care what it is that you're doing or where you are in life or if you're at the bottom or if you're at the top, right? Life is always increasing. So when life is always increasing, it doesn't matter what you've achieved. It doesn't matter what level of the game you are or what level in life you are, right? You're going to always want more. You're going to always be seeking for more, Right? I mean, by nature, our life is always looking uh, to expand. I mean, whether it's personally, right, whether it's uh, mentally, physically, um, or even financially, um, it, it, it's just governed by a law of increase, you know, in your relationship. You know, you, you always, you know, as well as myself, right, we, we, we're always looking to grow the relationship. That's a form of increase, right? Um, and uh, mentally, right? I'm into self-development, right? I'm always yearning to increase um, um, and develop more of myself, right? To learn more about myself. Um, so the makeup of life, right? Uh, the makeup of life just just kind of forces us to increase um, and expand in all areas of our life. No matter, like I said before, it doesn't even matter whether it's personally, mentally, or whether you're just trying to develop yourself or even business, right? Um, we're always um, seeking for the expansion. Um, so you might be asking, uh, what does this have to do with me, right? What does this have to do with you? It has everything to do with you, right? So if we understand that by law, nature, life is always expanding, right? 
one of the questions that we should be asking ourselves, one of the questions that I've asked myself is, how can I ride this wave of expansion? Because whether or not I take part in it, it's happening, right? Um, so I think it's very important that we understand um, how expansion works, right? Uh, how uh, increase works, the definition of it, what it means and how it affects our life, you know, everyday life, everything, right? The thing I love about nature is that nature have this way of teaching us, right, so many different things about life if we pay attention, right? I know a lot of us are busy, a lot of us are running around, and, you know, we're just on go mode, right? But if you have, like, just spare time, you know, go sit in nature and, I mean, I don't know what it is, you know, go listen to the birds chirp or, um, you know, listen to the ocean. I mean, I listen to the ocean and, you know, I just, I just listen, right? Because there's so much that you can learn about how it pertains to life in general, right? It's aggressive. For me, right, I listen to the ocean. So for me, it's that, the ocean is aggressive, right? But then it's calm, right? And then on top of that, it it you have these these the waves that's coming in and the waves that's going out. You're able to hear that, right? When you're able to silence the noise and you know, during the morning I just sit on the beach and I just listen to the way that they clash with each other, the way that that um, there's a calmness to it. There's a peace to it. There's 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 this serenity and 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 these different elements and sounds to it. And you can apply that to life because that's how life is. Life is ups and downs and um, expansion. And sometimes it's you know it's it, even though it's it's f always forward moving to a place of increase. At sometimes things seems to be stagnated, right? Um, so just by um, divine order, right, uh, life is always, always, always expanded. So now what expansion and increase is, um, well, I mean, now that we know, right, or have a, 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 um, a better concept of what expansion and increase is and how it affects our lives, um, you know, let's 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 go a little uh, deeper, right? Increase in um, expansion, um, and I'll be using uh, these terms. You know, sometimes I'll say increase and in expansion. Sometimes I'll say expansion and increase. So I'll be using these two uh, terms um, interchangeably. Um, so, how can one attach um, to these laws of life, right? Because Increase and expansion are definitely a part of life. They're a part of everything living, right? Um, so you might, you ever wondered, you ever wondered why we seem to always have a, a urge, you know, why we always have this urge to increase our life? Right? Why? 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 Why our life never seems to be fulfilled, right? And that's not a bad thing, right? Um, you know, I hear people say all the time, "Oh, you're not satisfied." I mean, y listen, my makeup is not to be satisfied, and it's not a bad thing. You know, I think that you know sometimes we use. Uh, these things that are supposed to be good for us, right? These things that are supposed to add increase in our lives and we throw like a negative tone to it and now, you know, we done, it done went over our head and we done missed the ball on or dropped the ball on how we was really supposed to use these terminologies and these, and these things to embed us, right? To move us forward, right? Um. So we always have this 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 urge this 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 feeling of um, increase. Um, so let me give you a couple of examples. Okay, so if you have a two thousand Honda Accord, right? Of course, by nature, right? You see the twenty twenty come out, 
you're going to want the 2020, right? That's a form of increase. That's a form of expansion. That's the um, urge that you have embedded in you, you know, by nature, right? That will have you to seek out that expansion, right? That, that, that increase, that new 2020 Honda Accord. Cause yo, that 2020 Honda Accord, listen, I'm not a Honda Accord guy, but listen, man, the Honda, the, the new joint, they come in with 20 inch rims and sporty rims and, you know, it got a new look and, you know, so, um, <laughs> I know that 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 y'all know I'm not tripping, right? You know, if you got a 2000 Honda Accord, yeah, you know it did its job, and in 2000 it was it, it was nice, right? But then, um, just by nature, you know, um, we have this 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 urgency, um, and not necessarily urgency, you know, for some of us it is, right? Um, but it's just an urge to just always have um, increase, um, if. For example, um, for you, okay, if you live in a pretty good neighborhood, right? Your neighborhood is nice, right? It's popping, you know. You know, it's 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 uh, has a lot of nice mom and pop stores, and you know, there's community um, aspect of it and things like that. But you know, you're looking at the other neighborhoods, right? You want a better neighborhood. You want to be in a better place, right? A better form. Or, or space of community and 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 better shops, right? You might not want to be uh, shopping at the mom and pop shops, right? You might you know want to be shopping at Louis, right? So um, we always have this um, innately. We always have this 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 urge to just always expand and expand and increase and increase, and you know, for you fellas, man. Um, you know, why do you think that uh, your girl, <laughs> right, is looking at the guy in the Ferrari, right? It's that not saying that she would, you know, dub you for the guy in the Ferrari or the Lambo, right, or or that Lambo truck, right? Not to say that, you know, she would do that, but, um, yeah, she would, you know, she would, she would, she would pay attention, right? She would actually probably urge you to go get that. Right, because it's 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 that form that's that 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 will that we have in us, you know, to always expand and um, increase. I mean, if you have a business and your business, you know, it's just sort of been floating around, and you know, it's it's not doing bad, it's not doing good, you know, um, at some point, you know, you're gonna want to serve more, right? You're gonna want to create have better customer service, right? You're going to want to upgrade your products, right? And create an environment that was better, right? Of more value than the prior, right? So we always have that uh, increase, expansion kind of vibe in us. And you can't turn it off. There's no way you can turn it off, you know? Um, I, I've learned to adapt to it. Right. Because if I'm not if 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 I'm not looking for expansion and increase in my life, like what am I really doing? You know, I mean, it's no mistake that uh, nature has orchestrated things in a way where um, we have these desires. Right. Because if we was not able to see these things through, we would not even have them. Every desire, not every, right? But I've come to a place in my life where a lot of my desires, a lot of the things that I want, you know, a lot of the things that I feel that I need, right? A lot of those things I've been able to bring into my life, right? A lot of these things I've been able to do, because I have a burning desire, right? I have a burning desire and I don't shut it off, right? I don't feel guilty about it. You know, I, I, I don't look at it like it's something bad or something wrong. You know, I, I just go with the flow, right? Because I try to attach myself to nature because nature has a flow. Nature has a, a, a perfection, you know, in a way that it flows, and if you pay attention to it, if you watch it, if you spend time in it and you spend time around it, you'll see how easily 
uh, this flow is and, 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 and how you can adapt to this flow, how you can ride this frequency of expansion and increase because that is what you're getting from observing um, nature. Um, we want to always look for expansion. We want to always look for increase. Um, in life, it's just, it's just a fundamental, you know, I keep saying this, man, because it's so important. It's just a fundamental urge, right? And I don't, I mean, maybe I'm just tripping, right? Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe it's just me. And I know it's not just me, right? Um, but for most of us, uh, I think that we have at least reached a place of consciousness, right? Where we're able to uh, know what our urges are, right? You know, you have some bad urges, right? We all have bad urges. But, um, you know, we're conscious enough to know that, that, that we're always yearning something, right? And, um, you know, God have a way of, um, of showing us things. And I think that um, he, he shows a lot about ourselves through nature, right? Because we are one of the same, right? Um, you know, there's not too many differences between um, nature and us, you know, we're a part of nature. Um, I feel that also that, that, that somehow, right. And this might be, uh, I don't want to say controversial um, or confrontational, you know, it's not that type of vibe, but I really think that God is, or the universe, whatever you believe in, I really think that uh, he is looking, he gives us these urges and he's, l and, 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 and he's looking for, for uh, a way to express himself through us. You know, when you look at all of these talented musicians and, 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 and these talented artists and these talented mm -hmm ball players and football players and no matter what, when you look at talent and you look at it like it's unbelievable, like these guys are doing things that like, you know, you really, really think that only God could do. Like, you know, it's almost like they're walking on water in their own fields. Right. Um, I don't think that's them in particular. Right. Like this is not me in particular. Right. Yes. I'm a vessel. Right. But the talents, the the you know, what may seem like it's magic, what may seem like it like like it can't be done, but it is being done. Right. What may seem like, oh, this dude is like, yo, he's on fire. Right. That's God expressing himself through us. That's the universe expressing itself through us right and you know it's it's a it's a great thing when you're conscious of that and you can just be a vessel of that right you can be a a, a conduit of that right so expansion and increase right god wants to expand and increase right the universe wants to expand and increase and if we could just uh quiet the noise a bit right to just position ourselves to be in a space where we can be used as a vessel um i think that not only do we change the lives of people on the earth right but um ultimately we change our lives too right um so the desire right um an expansion and an increase. Um, like I said, man, it's not a, it's not an evil thing. You know, it's, 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 it's more like aspiration. You know, you know, you ever had, you, you ever aspired to, to, to have something or to do something. That's not, that's not, that's not bad. It's not evil. Right. Um, but like I said, you know, depending on how we use these words, you know, um, it can have a negative tone to it. Right. And, um, you know, we can, you know, once that negative tone is attached to it, you know, now we're in a space where we get negative vibes from it, you know, but if we are able to attach a positive vibe to a word, then when we hear the word, you know, we get a positive feeling from it. Right. Um, 
So, um, when we are dealing in life, right, business or even in um, our relationships, right, we should always, we should always be in a place or, or thoughtfully in a place where we want to expand the other person's life, right? We want to come into this other person's life. We form a relationship. And instead of uh, looking from a viewpoint of selfishness where I'm coming into this relationship because you got this going on and, you know, you look like you set up and I'm coming in there to increase and up my life, right? No, 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 no. That's not the way things work, right? The way that things work um, is that you come into that person's life, you come into that relationship, and your focus should be how do you increase that person's life? How do you expand or help expand that person's life, right? And it's the same thing with business, right? In business and entrepreneurship, you have to look at your customers, right? You have to look at, you know, your followers. You have to look at everyone that you come across and figure out a way before you, you know, even touched on how you can benefit from it. You know, you you figure out how you can add value to that person's life, right? To your customer's life, right? And in doing that, you know, like I said, Ultimately, um, the universe will add value and increase into your life, you know. Um, so what I try to do is that everyone that I come in contact with, everyone that crosses my path, right, I try my hardest, right, because it's a continual thing. You have to always, because, you know, we have this, uh, you know, we have this kind of mechanism built in us where it's like, uh, you know, it's real selfishness type of shit, right? And um, I think it's very important that you combat that, right? And, and, and if you're conscious enough, when you have these thoughts of self, right, you're, you're, you're able to catch yourself, right, and say, okay, no. Let me figure out how I can serve my customers better, right? Let me figure out how I can add more value to them. You know, the companies that's out here winning, the companies that's out here doing, that's doing big business, they're giving more, right, than the company that preceded them, right? Because, you know, you have these conglomerate companies that's just doing things, you know, eBay was dominating at one point, right, and they was doing their thing and, Next thing you know, um, Amazon came around and Amazon is adding more value. Amazon is giving more. So when you're in a space where you're giving more, right, um, ultimately you'll be adding expansion not only um, to your customers and everyone that you come across or every, anyone that crosses your path, you'll be added increase um, into your life too. Um, I think it's, uh, you know, like that's, that's, that's the formula pretty much. Um, so, I, so I make it my business that everyone that comes in contact with me or vice versa, that I'm able to sow some type of seed um, through, 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 through giving time or, or, or a conversation or something positive or direction or it, it, it doesn't matter, right? In relationships, same thing, right? I'm always here to add value. So make it your business to add value. By default, right? Um, a lot of us talk about karma, right? But we, we only talk about karma in a negative tone, negative light, right? Here's the thing that I've learned about karma. Karma is not only negative, right? Karma is... What it is, is whatever you put out, you will get back, right? So you don't always have to put out negative, right? You can put out positive, right? You don't always have to uh, 
be in self, you know, self mode, right? Wanting, wanting, wanting. You can give, 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 give. And if karma is real and the universe is real, which we all know, you know, that energy that you put out will be the energy that you receive. So if we were to only lean in more into karma being a great thing and karma working for us, right? Because karma can help us expand, right? Karma can help us to increase. Karma can help us to go from broke, right? To having shit, right? So it's all about what you putting out there. So no matter who comes across your path, no matter who, uh, you know, is a part of your life, you know, family member, friends, best friends, even associates on, on, on social media, you know, position yourself to always, always add value to that person's life to, to think of expanding that person's lives or, increase in that person life. I mean, this podcast is, is the foundation of this podcast is, is, is just built on this. You know, we're here to add value. We're here to expand, right? We're here to increase and to just throw that out in the, into the atmosphere. I mean, who's ever is at a place in their life where they can connect to expansion and they can connect to the top um, increase in the topics that we talk about and, and, and the guests that we have and their stories and, and, and so on. Um, they will benefit from what we're doing. You know, this podcast is built on the same premises. Um, so, you know, to, to just like recap on everything, man, you know, we always want to convey, um, thoughts of, of, of expansion and, and increase to others, you know, and in return, man, I, I, I guarantee you that, that, you know, you might not get it back from that person, right? I mean, rarely do we get it back from the people that we give, give it to and vice versa, but there's a whole universe, man. There's, there's, there's all these different things that's working for us, you know, that will come to our aid, that will show up when, it's time for it to show up, you know, when, when, when we're really on our knees or, you know, we're lost or whatever the case may be. So it's the seeds that we sow. So let's get into the habit, man. Let's get into the habit of sowing expansion seeds to everyone. Let's get into the habit of sowing increased seeds to everyone. Right. And, um, ultimately, man, you know, I truly believe that, uh, We'll have people sowing expansion and increase seeds into our lives, you know. So thank you for this episode. Make man. sure to share the video. Uh, follow us on YouTube. Uh, subscribe. Yes, please subscribe. We need to build that subscription up, right? We need to have me viral, you know what I'm saying? Like, I won't mind going viral, right? Let's, let's, uh... Let's start sowing some seeds, man. Let's let, let let's start putting some positive energy, positive vibes, positive conversations into the atmosphere, right? Um, because we need that balance, man. Especially with everything that's going on now, right? We need that balance, right? So check us out next episode. Peace. Next time, change your mindset, change your reality. Work and find us on the north. Blue honey, blue honey, blue honey, change blue honey, blue honey, blue honey. Ready to go, ready to go, ready to go. Ready to go, ready to go, ready to go. My name is Earl and I have a podcast. I'm doing the podcast and i'm doing the podcast yeah so um i mean you know let's get right into it man i mean what's what was this oh shit that was episode three wow no 
This is episode three. I shouldn't have put episode fucking three in that shit. Okay, so I'll have to mute that out. Definitely. <laughs>